Uh, she's uh, uh, articulated his political narrative of victimization and unfairness in the judicial system and uh, made some outlandish claims, including the conflict claims. And she lost. So she's a loser. Um, I'm not surprised that Trump is looking for um, uh, appellate representation. Alina, would you rather be um, would you rather be smart or pretty? And I said, oh, easy, pretty. I can fake being smart. <laughs> <laughs> we have got a case of the fake people here. Trump's lawyer in the E. Jean Carroll case, Alina Haba, said that E. Jean Carroll's lawyer, Roberta Kaplan, had an improper mentor-like relationship with the judge, suggesting a conflict of interest in the defamation trial. Now, Kaplan is threatening Haba with sanctions, claiming Haba made up a person to justify her accusations. Selena Haba, who's been widely criticized for her poor performance as a courtroom attorney, has had to quickly backpedal after a major claim she made to appeal the more than $83 million jury award appears to be false. The New York Post had quoted her in an article on Monday alleging that the judge and Carol's attorney knew each other very well from their days at a top law firm. So well, in fact, that they had a mentor-mentee relationship. This is news to us, Haba is quoted as saying. She then repeated this unfounded claim in a motion to the court. Now, Carol's attorney, Roberta Kaplan, fired back in a letter today saying, quote, as Ms. Haba well knows, these allegations are utterly baseless. Roberta Kaplan says that Haba's claims are, quote, utterly baseless. It's ironic that after Haba's client lost a giant defamation case against Kaplan's client, her response was to defame Kaplan. So very quickly, just to catch you all up, Haba was representing Trump in a defamation case against Roberta Kaplan's client, E. Jean Carroll. Trump and Haba lost the case, and now Trump has to pay Carroll an incredible $83 million. Haba's accusation that Roberta Kaplan had a mentor-like relationship with the judge whose name is also Kaplan, just to make things a little bit more confusing, stems from the time both Kaplans spent at Paul Weiss, Rifkin, Wharton, and Garrison, a law firm in the 90s. Kaplan said in a letter to the judge, quote, I have no recollection from that time period of ever interacting with your honor on a case, participating with your honor in a client or case-related meeting, or attending a court proceeding with your honor. Needless to say, at no point have we ever had a mentor-type relationship. In the letter, Kaplan acknowledged that the two of them did work at the firm at the same time for less than two years, but she did not recall any direct interaction between the two of them during that time. Haba called the brief overlap, quote, insane and so incestuous. In her attempt to now appeal the guilty verdict against her client and the $83 million penalty, Haba was hoping that this overlap would be the ticket. But Kaplan is no joke. She knows the game, and she knows it better than Haba. She wrote in her letter, quote, From the very start of the recently concluded trial, Donald Trump and Ms. Haba have pushed a false narrative of judicial bias so they could characterize any jury verdict against Trump as a product of a corrupt system. And that's exactly what they've been doing. This country is falling apart. And if we don't stop corruption in courtrooms where attorneys are gagged, where attorneys are not allowed to say what they need to say to protect their clients' interests. It doesn't matter what your politics are. Everyone has a right in this country to get up and put a defense. That was always their gameplay because they had to have known from the very beginning that they didn't actually have a defense in this particular case. This case was about defamation against E. Jean Carroll, and that defamation has been publicly documented. It's there for every and anyone to see. Trump was posting defamatory statements about Carroll on his social media accounts. They had no defense. But Trump was and is still running a political race. If he can remind his base that he's actually their martyr, that he's a victim of the system, that the system is targeting him, then he becomes a hero. He becomes the guy who's exposing the evil and corrupt nature of the systems and people running this country. Ironically, he is sort of doing that, but not in the way that he's convinced his base he is. As I mentioned, anyone can see that he was doing the things that he was accused of doing. I feel like even if I was a Trump supporter, this particular one would be very hard to deny, but he's already branded himself as their savior. His supporters have literally likened him to Jesus. This isn't about innocent or guilty, and it never was. Okay, so the fake person. There is an anonymous source who allegedly told Haba's team that, quote, Lou was like Kaplan's mentor. Lou, of course, is the judge Lewis Kaplan. 
Roberta said that this anonymous source, quote, clearly has a very flawed memory of events that occurred three decades ago. Kaplan suggested that sanctions be issued against Haba for her allegations. Funny enough, just the threat of sanctions was enough for Haba to back down, saying, well, if Kaplan says it's not true, then I guess it's settled. Trump will need to find a different angle if he wants to appeal this verdict. However, Haba might not be a part of that appeal process going forward. On Tuesday on Truth Social, Trump wrote, quote, I am in the process, along with my team, of interviewing various law firms to represent me in an appeal in one of the most ridiculous and unfair witch hunts our country has ever seen. Any lawyer who takes a Trump case is either crazy or a true American patriot. I will make my decision soon. Again, all of this big talk, in my opinion, is part of his campaign strategy more than it is part of his legal strategy. In between the quote that I read you, there's a lot more Trumpian rhetoric. The radical left, the Clinton-appointed Trump-hating judge, the trial was a hoax, the whole thing was a sham, you know, the usual. I expect that we will be hearing a lot more about this in the coming weeks and months, unfortunately, but for now, that is where things stand. All right, that's it for me. If you got anything out of this, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and... Uh, check out my podcast, Modern Context. Thanks.